This is exercise um, number 14, page 91 of your Dysrhythmia Interpretation Workbook. And we'll start with a heart rate, which is approximately 75. Now, you notice we have a bit of an irregular rhythm here. So again, you can do one of two things. You can count the number of uh, complexes in a six-second strip multiply by 10. Of course, the golden rule when you're with a patient is to check a pulse. And when the pulse is irregular, you might want to check for at least 30 seconds. Um, or you can take um, try to find the underlying rhythm here where we have P waves, QRS, P wave, QRS, and um, you know measure the heart rate based on the distance between two sinus beats. Uh, that's another option as well, depending on how irregular the, uh, the heart rate is. Uh, P waves are present and upright in the underlying rhythm. The PR interval uh, where, where P waves are associated with QRS is normal. The QRSs are all narrow, less than 0.12 second. The ra ratio uh, where there are PO is associated with QRS is, is one to one, and the rhythm is irregular. So we, we want to find out what these irregular beats are. So if we go through it sort of step by step, uh, we see a P wave and a QRS. Then we see uh, no P wave here uh, and a narrow QRS, and then a P wave and a QRS. Now, based on the distance between these two, which both appear to be sinus beats, uh, and then you look back at this one, I, you would have to say that this one here appears to be premature. It's premature, it has no P wave, uh, and if you have a narrow QRS complex without a P wave and it's a premature beat, this would be a premature junctional uh, complex, so PJC. Now if we move along here, we have another PJC here because it's premature and there are no P waves there. We have a P wave QRS, another PJC here, uh, a normal P wave QRS, and another PJC here. So we have uh, one, two, three, four premature junctional complexes. Now you may be wondering why I call them, call them complexes instead of contractions, and that's because the ECG is purely a representation of the heart's electrical activity. We, you know, we generally assume that if there's a, a, a complex that there's a contraction, but that's purely an assumption. We're, since we're only looking at electrical activity, we call it complexes. So we have, um, let's just carry on here with uh, the interpretation. We have uh, an interpretation of sinus rhythm, heart rate is 75, with four PJCs. Again, the PJCs are here, uh, normal, normal, PJC, normal, PJC, normal, PJC, and normal. So we have sinus rhythm, heart rate is 75, with four PJCs.